Right, so genetic algorithms. Um, we, you, may, you may have heard of genetic algorithms uh, in that they're a way of, of generating data or, or coming up with um, a tuning of something in a way that mimics uh, Darwin's evolution. Um, and I thought I'd, I'd try this out uh, recently um, by, by using it, well, by applying it to the N-Queens problem. Um, have you come across the N-Queens problem before? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Somebody say no? No. 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 Okay, <laughs> let me talk you through it. <laughs> <laughs> so N-Queens is where you've got a chessboard which is N by N. Well, it's amazing how easy this, this is to use. Um, and you've got to try and fit N um, queens onto there such that none of them are attacking any of the others. So if I, if I were to do this and this and can I do any and that, then no, none of those queens are attacking each other. But I can't think of any way that I can put a fourth queen such that it's not being attacked. Mm -hmm. um, so if I put that there, then that's, that's incorrect. So the, the end queens puzzle is, is to find a solution to that, to, to that problem. Um, and uh, so I thought this would be a good, a good use case for the gene genetic algorithms thing. And uh, the way that I did it, first of all, I started looking for a representation of a board, a way that we can easily represent the board. Um, and one way to do it is you can just express it as a string of numbers, which is quite good for genetic algorithms, where you need to start with something that looks like a, a, a set of chromosomes. Um, so one way we could do it is to, we could say, well, this is, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, uh, this is 0, and this is 3, and this is 1, and that is 2. So we can express that board state just using a string of, 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 n, of n digits. Um, and in, in a genetic algorithm, um, what you do is you, you come up with some randomized state. So that's essentially what I've just done there, I've just thrown some x's onto the board. Um, and, then, and then see if you can improve on that over time. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll actually randomly initialize a bunch of these. Um, randomly initialize a bunch of them, and then have some means of testing which of these, which of these, let's say, ten population of ten uh, instances are the strongest and fittest, and then allow them to breed in some kind of Orwellian future. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's say this this one this one's pretty bad, isn't it? Because that that one let's say is attacking that one, that one's attacking that one, this one's also attacking that one, and let's say that one's attacking that one. So that scores poorly. This one. Um, We've got uh, one one attacking pair, haven't we? And I think the others are okay. Yeah. Um, so let's say because this has got uh, this has got one attacking pair, that's got let's say a fitness score uh, of one, and this has got a fitness score of four, uh, where four is bad and, and one one is one is good. Um, so what we'll do is we'll generally initialize a population of ten or a hundred or something of, of these of these things. Pick uh, then then select them somehow according to some kind of metric, and then get them to breed together. So let's say we had two boards where <clears throat> uh, one was represented by this, and the other one was represented by 3, 1, 2, 0. Um, then we could, the way that we breed them in genetic algorithms is, is that you, you select randomly, you select a pivot point, so let's say that's the pivot point, and then you make some children based out of part of the first one and part of the second one. So one of the children will be 0, 3, 1, 2, Sorry, zero three, control Z, control Z, please, Maestro. Zero three two zero, and the other one would be three one two zero. Um, so we don't know what 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 it is about this board that makes it good at, at this task, um, but we can we can try some things out, and then over time, what you're doing is you're you're starting with a, a base generation of these randomly initialized things, taking the fittest ones, creating children from those, um, and then running some kind of tournament to see who are the fittest in that generation then then you keep going keep going keep going um, so this you know this 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 will sometimes converge on on a solution uh, it won't always converge on a solution because what, what you might get is uh, is a local minimum where um, your your board is quite good and so it's got a score of let's say you got lots of lots of boards of score two and they were all two 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 and five 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 it doesn't matter where you put the pivots on that um, you're going to come up with something with twos and fives in. Um, so you can start to converge on things that look exactly the same. Imagine you've got pairs that were, you know, everything was five, 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 five. It doesn't matter what you did. Um, its children would always be that. So what, what, we, what we do is introduce a third step. So we've seen so far select based on some kind of uh, metric, breed, where you create some children based on the fittest parents. And we introduce a new step, which is called 
mutate, and that's where you, you go to your, is this a gene? Is this a set of chromosomes a gene? Any biologists? Yeah, it's a gene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's a gene. Uh, you, 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 go to, you go to this gene and you mutate it in, in some way, so you just select at random uh, a part of, the, part of the gene and you mutate one of the chromosomes. So you might say, well, let's, let's make this a one and see what happens then. You know, that might make it more or, or, less, or less fit. And that, that just introduces some uh, stochasticity into the system that, that maybe just kicks it all off again. And uh, one thing that surprised me about this is just how often randomness makes its way into uh, you know, algorithms like this. The neural networks, where, for example, you, um, you, you initialize all of the weights to some random variable. Here we're introducing some random variable to make sure that we get there um, in the end. Some of the best sorting algorithms work by, by introducing random. So